but she wrote a song song. <laughs> Do you want to sing the hooks? You should sing. She was like, what? You want me to sing? Are you serious? Cause it's all about you, you, you. My weakness leaves your glory will shine through. Cause it's all about you. So I'm thinking about this soundtrack and as God would have it, I had a music producer on board acting in the series. Tell me that was a coincidence. I said, Speck, would you be willing to produce the Kling soundtrack? So when we first mentioned the soundtrack, it was just gonna be a soundtrack. So I was gonna get some people that I knew, some singers that I knew. I already had some songs that would be kind of appropriate, so that was the original idea. Just a soundtrack, various artists, and um, hopefully she'd like it. So I'm excited just about being able to observe the process of putting together a soundtrack. I'm like, maybe I can even watch a couple of the recording sessions. And out of the blue, Speck says one day, you should think about writing lyrics for a couple of the songs. I'm like, where did that come from? I had never mentioned to him that I used to write lyrics long ago. Kim is a writer. I mean, she's a novelist. She's a storyteller. She wrote the script. So I figured, you know, she should be involved in um, maybe writing some of the lyrics. I didn't know she was really into music like that, but she really wanted to be part of the process. Like, what are they about? Like, can I hear them? Can I hear the melodies and music? So I was like, you should write something. It's the soundtrack to your vision, to your script that you wrote. So you should write some of the lyrics. I knew it was God. I immediately started praying. Like, really, Lord? I get to write songs? I get to write songs about clinging to you? Lord, give me the words. Couple days later, I had words to two songs. Speck was like, really, already? Okay, let me hear it. I'm like, oh crap, that means I gotta sing. <laughs> I did not like singing in front of people. But I said, okay, be professional, Kim. You don't have to sing, sing. Just sing well enough for him to hear the flow of the song. Speck listened and he was like, huh, you wrote it to a melody? I said, what? That's how it came to me. She had never written a formal song. I mean, she's never had a song out. So she's, to me, she's never written a song. Most people, when they first start out, they don't know how to phrase. They don't know where the rhymes should go, arrange it, they don't, you know, melody structure. I thought it was gonna be more like just the other stuff, the spoken word and the poetry, but she wrote a song song. Beck encouraged me. He said, keep writing. And I did. I kept writing songs that other artists would sing. Then one day, he absolutely stunned me. So Speck said, hey, I've got this idea. We're going to do some songs on the album where you're singing the hook and doing sort of a teaching spoken part for the verses. I said, wait, what? What do you mean singing? So this happened all of a sudden. I had this vision I heard Kim actually unpacking and talking about Kling and pretty much doing what she does in her Bible studies or when she talks, but over music and then having a, a hook. So I pitched it. I said, I've never heard of this before, but like a, a Bible study where the verses go and then a hook. I don't know where this came from, but I said, you, do you want to, <laughs> do you want to sing the hooks? You should sing and you should do the hooks. I think you could do the hooks. I've heard your singing voice. And she was like, what? You want me to sing? Are you serious? Me to sing. Hey, you never know what God is doing, right? Once again, Speck had absolutely no idea that this was a dream. The secret dream to sing. I knew it was all God and I couldn't even process it. I could not believe that God was taking this long ago secret dream that I had basically forgotten about and he was breathing life into it. It was exceeding abundant beyond what I could ask or think. But now I had to grapple with, wait, I'm singing on the soundtrack? It became a complete faith journey which became more astounding as the initial plans we had for the album fell by the wayside. Other than the theme song, I'd be singing on the entire album. And we began recording songs where I was singing the entire song. God's grace was just amazing. I would listen to a track, pray for words, and the words would just flow. So much so that I'm trying to write to keep up. I remember on my birthday listening to a track that became the song, Why I Cling. I had my Bible open, words were coming, and I was just in tears 
praising the Lord, writing and recording. It was such a worshipful experience. But then the songs were done and it was time for people to hear them. I was like, what if Speck was just being nice and these songs actually sound awful? She was like, is anybody really gonna like this? Are you just saying this because we're already doing it and then you can't get out of it? <laughs> But no, you know, first of all, I really felt a leading. This concept came out of nowhere. The idea to do this came out of nowhere. And, you know, just the investment and the interest, like God put it in my heart for this ministry and for the soundtrack. So that's not on accident. That doesn't happen every day for me. Um, and then you can see, look at the comments on any of the YouTubes. Look at the comments on the songs. Like people love these songs. People are saying things like, this is my favorite song. I wake up to this every day. I need this. Oh my gosh, when's the record coming out? They didn't even know a soundtrack was coming out. People are asking, where's the soundtrack? There better be more of these. It's The response is overwhelming. Um, and I love this record. I mean, I actually listen to it. I'm getting encouraged by it. And um, I mean, it's just, you know, um, Kim says this line, she says, um, God is changing my bio. And, and that's just crazy because when I met Kim a year ago in Dubai, she wasn't a singer or an artist or a songwriter. And now she is with the album out and a soundtrack. This clean series soundtrack is not the product of some marketing meeting. It's not something we came up with. This was God surprising us every step of the way. I can't count the number of times I have prayed for God to use these songs to draw those who listen into a closer walk with himself. I pray they're a blessing to you.